Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to write code to control the animations in a 2D game in Unity. In the previous video, I showed how to set up the animator to specify all the different transitions from one type of animation to another. And before that, uh, we also looked at how to add the animations to the player. So if you haven't added any animations to your player and you haven't uh, set up the animator, and go back and watch the last uh, two videos. But in this video, we're gonna look at how to uh, add the code, which will basically talk with the parameters in the animator. Um, and so each of the animations can actually play. So I'm gonna to go to Visual Studio and I've already got open uh, the player controller script, which is attached to the player. And I'm going to create a new variable here in the player controller class. And this can just be a private variable and it's an animator and I'm going to call it player animation. So what I'm basically doing here is linking uh, the player, uh, the, the animator, which the animator component, which is attached to the player to this script so that I have access to it. So we're just getting access to the animator component, uh, which is attached to the player. So now in the start method, I'm going to write player animation equals get component animator. And so now in this script, I have access to the animator component attached to the player so I can change the parameters uh, in the animator. So I'm going to scroll down to the update method. And you'll notice in this code, uh, there's a couple of variables as is touching ground. Um, and that is a Boolean variable, which is set to true if the player is on the ground and false if the player is not on the ground, if they're jumping in the air. Um, and we also have information like the velocity of the player. And we can use that information to uh, talk to the animator component that's attached to the player and change these two parameters here, the speed parameter and the on ground parameter. We, and those parameters are used to determine when um, each of these animations play through the different conditions that were set up in the previous video. So at the bottom of the update method below the code that was added for player movement and jumping, we can add two lines of code here. So I'm going to write player animation dot set float. So this is to change the speed parameter in the animator. So I'll refer to that parameter there and it's really important. It's case sensitive. So just make sure you check the name of your parameters there and that they're the same here when you refer to them in the code. So we're going to update the speed parameter and we're going to do that by passing through the uh, player's velocity on the X axis. Now, instead of just passing through that information, what I need to do here is actually use a, a function. So mathf.com abs and then in parentheses I'm going to say player dot velocity dot x and then just end that line with a semicolon. So what's happening here is with we're, we're getting the velocity of the player on the x-axis, finding out what the velocity is. But remember when the, the player is moving right on the x-axis, the velocity is a positive number, but when the player is moving left on the x-axis, the velocity is actually a negative number. So in the animator to play the uh, or to transition to the walking animation the speed needs to be greater than 0 0.1 and to transition back to the idle animation the speed is less needs to be less than 0 0.1 um, but we'll have a problem if um, the player starts moving left because their velocity would become would be a negative value um, and if we use that value for the speed parameter in the animator, that means that it would actually play the idle animation when the player is moving left. So what's happening here is I'm using a function called mathf.abs and abs is short for absolute or absolute value. So what's happening is basically it's, it's taking the velocity on the X axis and regardless of whether it's positive or negative value, it's going to just make it a positive value. All right. So if it's a negative value, it will turn it into a positive value version of that number or value. All right, it's absolute value. So it'll strip the negative sign or the minus sign. 
Okay, so it's gonna take that information and uh, set the speed parameter to that value in the animator. Next, we can say player animation dot set bool. So this time we can uh, update the on ground parameter. This one here. And that's gonna be easy to update because we can just use the value from the is touching ground variable. So that value is either gonna be true or false depending on whether the player is touching the ground or not. So we can just pass through that value into the on ground parameter in uh, the animator in Unity. So now that's it for the code. Uh, you can save that script and go back to Unity. And now let's test that out. So I'm gonna run the game. And now what we should see is a transition from uh, through each of those animations, depending on whether the player is moving or jumping. All right, so you can see here the player is idle at the moment. So the idle animation is playing. When I walk, the walking animation plays and uh, it plays when I move in either direction. And when I jump, the jumping animation plays. And when I land, it goes back to idle. Um, but if I land and start walking, then the walking animation plays. So we can see all the different transitions between those animations are, are working. Uh, one little thing you might notice though is when I'm walking right, the player is facing right, but when I walk left, the player is still facing right. So in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, make the player turn and face in the direction that the player is walking. Uh, but that's it for this video. All those animations are, are working now. So if you wanted to, you could add some other animations. You could add animations to the player for climbing a ladder and, uh, and then set up the transitions in the animator and add some code for that. Or you could add some animations, maybe if the player hits spikes and, and things like that. Um, but that's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.